Hey everybody, welcome back to your channel, it's your girl Angelina, and today we are going to be making a fall pumpkin ice coffee. These are all keto approved items, and yes, I am on keto, so if you are or you are not on keto, this is going to be delicious, and you can always substitute any of these items for items that you would like for your iced coffee. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay guys, so first up, we are gonna start with our ingredients for the feeling of our coffee. So I'm just using this 100% pure pumpkin. This has um, less carbs, and you'll be able to tell the carbs right here. You detract the fiber from the total carbs. So I will be using one tablespoon of this pumpkin. And you're gonna mix in your pumpkin with your creamer and your seasonings if you would like. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of my sugar-free keto coffee creamer. And this is a hazelnut flavor, but you can use whatever you want and it doesn't have to be keto. Okay, so since we have some pumpkin in there, I am going to use a little bit bigger of a frother mixer. Hopefully this blends well, but this is what we're working with. <gasps> okay, actually, oh, it's messy. So I... Just blend with caution. Oh, okay. You know what? We're not going to use this. Okay, so since we have our pumpkin um, in with our creamers, we're just going to use one of these frothers. Hopefully it doesn't fly like the other one. You're just going to mix it until you reach the frothiness that you like. And, you know, it's okay if it gets messy because this is going to fly everywhere. I had to get a bigger frother because my little one was just not cutting it. It was, like, not making my creamer frothy at all so okay so after you got the desired thickness that you want for your feeling of your coffee just set that aside your cup of choice this is my cup of choice this is from marshall's for $7.99 so so cute this is the coffee i will be using this is so freaking good this is like very finely mailed i absolutely love this i have to get another one we're gonna put in some of this sugar-free skinny mixes salted caramel. I got mine at Walmart. This is a little bit more watery of a consistency because it is keto. And this is zero carbs as well. And then the steps, you can do it any way you want. Um, I normally put some coffee, ice, and then the caramel and stuff, but we're just gonna do as is. And like I said, you can add as much coffee as you want. I'm just gonna do about a little bit more than a tablespoon, just cause I want mine a little bit stronger cause I do have all of that pumpkin filling. So once it's like this, we're gonna add a little bit of water, mix that in, add our ice and our filling. Okay, so add your ice of choice. This is just for my ice machine. Now I'm gonna fill her up because, girl, we like a lot of ice. Girl, no ice left behind. Also, as well, you can add your seasonings in now or at the end as a topper, but I'm gonna go in with some ground cinnamon and, of course, the pumpkin pie spice. Okay, so now that you got that incorporated, let's transfer this to this. Okay, right, so I'm just going to pour my mixture in. Hopefully I don't spill it. And girl, just like, I can find my spoon, so I'm just going to go in with my finger, but girl, don't follow me, okay? Okay, you can mix yours in if you'd like. 
Okay, and this is optional as well. This is my zero sugar uh, whipped cream. This is keto friendly and it is a zero sugar and zero carbs. Did you make more ice? Uh -huh. Yeah. And there you have it. Okay, guys. So that is going to be it for this video. And there you have it. Your pumpkin spice iced coffee. Keto friendly and delicious. And yeah, you can substitute all the ingredients for things that you like or you prefer. And that's taste test. This is absolutely delicious. Like I said, you don't even have to add pumpkin. This is just my fall pumpkin drink. Okay, so that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this pumpkin spice iced coffee. And yeah, this was about five net carbs. And it turned out very delicious. Say hi. Well, that is going to be everything for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you comment a heart emoji down in the comment section below if you stuck around to the very end of this video. Yeah! Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah! Next video. Woo! Bye.